This is a short video about the Interact support service. From any of the screens within Interact, you will be able to access a help drop down menu. Within this drop down menu, one of the options is Interact support. Because we have two different internet connections in our office, we will occasionally require users to use one of these two connections to be able to access us. By cl clicking on the connection, a small program will run, opening up allowing us to choose which person is going to be supporting our machine. The software that we use for this is Ultra VNC One Click and what it allows us to do is to, when requested, access your machines, being able to see the screen that you can see, move the mouse around and access the keyboard. The connection itself can only be activated by a user from their machine and cannot be started from Interact's office. This means that you have complete security that we won't be able to access your computers without your permission. All the support requests that we deal with are handled in the order that they are received. So before opening up a connection to request support, we ask that you send a request through to the support department and they'll instruct you when they require a connection set up. By double clicking on the name of the person who's made the request, a small message will appear on that person's screen saying which computer would like to access them. And by us accepting the connection, we're then able to see what's happening. When you request the support, down in the bottom corner of your screen, you'll see this connection active and a small icon that looks like the interact icon down the bottom here telling you that it's ready to connect. It's also possible, if you're having difficulties being able to connect into your system, that under the Start button in Windows, under Interact, you can also access the Interact support, primary and secondary connections. All su support requests that we receive at Interact are handled in the order that we receive them, so that we are not giving priority to our larger or smaller customers, or the customers who make the most insistent requests. To help us in supporting you, we ask that we get provided with some information about exactly what your question is. If you're having problems running a particular report or printing an invoice, letting us know which invoice or which report you're trying to run. If there's an error message that's coming up when you're running it, will help us to be able to quickly determine what your issue may be. Also in Windows, it is possible to use a screen capture button to be able to take sh screenshots of where you're up to at the moment. So rather than needing to write down all the details of a particular error message, you can simply rely on a picture showing us exactly what's happening. Hitting the print screen button on your keyboard, which is normally located next to the F12 key, allows you to take a quick screen capture of the screen as it is. Opening up something like Microsoft Paint will allow you to paste that screen into a document. You can of course use the tools under Paint to be able to highlight or circle bits of information that are you're trying to bring our attention to and this can then be attached to your email. When emailing through requests it's best to email support at interact.com.au rather than your individual installers. The reason behind this is that if your installer is doing training for another client on that day or is not in the office, you'd still be able to get a response to your request. If you have any questions about the Interact support policies or are wanting to be able to request support, please let us know. Thank you very much.